I was having a hard time putting myself together after one of my daughter's pain episodes. Giving myself a shower and getting dressed for the day was a struggle to say the least. I haven't felt like this in a while, but I have to get up. I have to keep going because I know that if I stay here in my despair, I become disabled. And that's where the enemy wants me to be stuck in. Crippled by fear so that I can't mother, I can't encourage others, and I can't do what I was called to do. So you see, I will get up, and I will keep pushing forward in faith, one foot over the other, giving thanks for I know I am only able to because of my Heavenly Father, by His grace, through faith. Closer. Hi guys, what's up? What's going on? This morning we had one of Ale's pain episodes which has been happening daily. It's just been such a struggle for me to see my baby go through that every day. And on top of that, all the other stuff that I mentioned in my last video, and we've been having some health issues in my family and everything just keeps piling up and I just I'm at this place where I just feel like it's I don't see the end you know I don't see the end and I I don't even know what I'm trying to say honestly it's just hard to get my words out to express myself that's why I write a lot I journal because journaling has really helped me my thoughts a lot of times they don't make sense and so I journal a lot so that when I come back to it I'm able to put it all together and through that I'm able to see how God is working in all of it sometimes when we are going through a challenging time in our lives all that is not going right gets magnified and it blacks our vision to see the bigger picture we start to believe in the lies in our thoughts and our feelings for example for me I tend to think that I am not a good mother because I don't know how to help her, that I don't have what it takes. I start to question God, why me? I start to blame myself for having done something wrong and that is why she is suffering. Going down that rabbit hole, I give in to the shame and guilt of it all, even for feeling so tired that I can't even be there for her who needs me. But God is so merciful. He doesn't condemn me. Rather, he is there in my brokenness to lift my spirits up and to offer me strength in my weakness. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Therefore, he knows that we don't have the strength. So why not yoke ourselves to Him who can help us carry our burdens and as a result, find rest in Him? God never promised us a life without trials. We all go through things that are difficult. We all have things that we are ashamed of. We all fall short of His holiness. But that doesn't mean He doesn't love us. He deeply cares and wants to be our light in the midst of our darkness to heal, guide, and sustain us. All we have to do is believe in what Jesus did for us. He already paid the price of dying on the cross so that we can be close to our Father and have His Spirit live within us. Meaning, we don't have to do life alone. We don't have to feel lost or in isolation. We get to do life with Him who is the creator of heaven and earth. Through His grace, we can be comforted by peace that goes beyond what makes sense because it doesn't especially here in the dark valleys of our lives. And I think about how he came into this world out of the abundance of his love, humbling himself in human form to empathize with us in our feelings, in, in, in all of our suffering, because he, he suffered too. He paid the highest price and he continues to be the same God. And even now, it humbles me. It humbles me and I realize that there is eternal hope, there is hope, and there is healing. And one day, we will be delivered and free from all this suffering. I gotta keep pushing forward. I gotta have that childlike faith, you know? That childlike faith that 
my little girl has continued to show me time and time after time and time again I always say this phrase pushing forward because really it's when I saw her I, I remember when I first came up with that phrase or I didn't come up with the phrase a phrase but when that phrase came to me was when Ale was she had a cast she's always in cast because she has clubbed feet and I am and she was in cast and but she was still doing PT she was still doing sit to stands and I was just like look at this little girl look at this little girl who who has so many issues and so many disabilities but yet she continues to push forward she continues to show me that that is truly a miracle from God to, to just continue to push forward even though the circumstances even though things are not as I want them as, as I envision it or as I I want them to be right now there still has to be a push forward as we wait for healing I continue to re remind myself of what Jesus did for us on the cross when I think about those things I understand that this right here what's happening right now it's not forever it's not eternal what's eternal is our hope what's eternal is a life with him that there is a peace that only he could give that only he could give to me even in these moments right that yeah I, I i i'm human and i break down and i there are times where i can't pick myself off the floor but i i do i do because if i give in to that despair where i'm actually stuck there like if i let that win no there's a time to cry there's a place for that yes i do i give myself that grace to be able to just cry it out to him to give it all up to him there's a time and a place for that there has to be a okay like i'm gonna leave it right there at his feet after i'm done crying it all out i can get back up on my feet it's it's only because of him that i am able to nothing more not because of me not because of me but because of him and i'll admit lately it's been taking me a minute to find the good in things that are not right it's sort of like when you stop exercising for a while getting back into it gets harder the more you wait sometimes it's not because of your choosing but because of the circumstances life happens but again it is true that the more time passes the more it becomes difficult to work that muscle and the muscle that i'm talking about is spiritual it's one of gratitude even for the things that are not going right. It is in these instances where I hold on to one of my favorite verses of the Bible in Romans 8.28. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. So when things are not going right, know that he will work it out. How do I know this? Because he's done it for me time and time again. When things looked awful in the moment, but after everything had passed and I look back, I understand why it all had to happen. God was working behind the scenes, putting everything into place for my good. So we got to trust. Lately, I've been praying and asking God to help me, to please help me, to see things clearly, to heal me of my temporary blindness so that I can see things through his lens to be appreciative of even the littlest things, the small big wins, the mundane moments, to not take for granted the things that he gifted me, even if it doesn't look like what the world values. Although today I had no strength, I felt led to make this video to encourage someone because I know others are suffering the same kind of suffering according to 1 Peter 5 9. Therefore know that you are not alone. God is with us. We may need to have a come to Jesus moment during the day or several times a day actually, praying without ceasing, giving it up to him, letting him carry us through these dark moments, crying out to him, expressing gratitude, looking for ways to serve others, laying everything at his feet. All of these are ways that I have found helpful in order to truthfully refresh myself. And I hope that you are able to take something away from this. Yeah, there was so much pain today, but there was also so much wisdom. And for that, I give thanks. If only 
we as adults can be as resilient as children because man they are the real superheroes like they just keep going they can just bounce right back up let this be an encouragement for you to continue to push forward to know that there is there is an end in sight even though we do not see it we just need to believe we just need to believe and have that faith that everything is going to be okay. Everything will be finished. Everything is finished. Everything is already finished. Please do not think that this is like I'm trying to look for pity in, in any sort of way. Of course not. It is more to remind myself, um, to remind myself and to remind you that there is hope, you know, that there is hope because a lot of the things that I talk about, obviously it's because I, I am going through these things. If you're struggling today, please comment below and let me know how, how can I be praying for you? Because ultimately that's what we're here for. We're here to, we're here to encourage one another. We're here to pray for each other. We're here to help each other. Pray for me because I know I need prayer. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Anyway, there's dogs barking and it's just craziness up in here.